Hi everyone and welcome back to Happily a Homeschool Mom. Today I'm going to show you how I use some games that we have on hand as a tool to my children's learning. Um, my kids are visual learners and if you have a visual learner, um, creating games out of things that you have on hand or homemade games seem to be the most economical way to teach. Um, my kids anyway that's what this is a video of how I do it so um, if you have a better way um, to teach it go ahead and leave a suggestion in the comic in the comment box below so um, what I'm going to show you is a checker game that I've converted into a a Spanish lotto game um, because my kids are learning Spanish um, they need a foundational point to start at and learning the sounds of the letters is always a founda foundational um, necessity before you start any language. Um, this game can be adapted to any language including if you're teaching a young child to read um, or learn their letter sounds it can also be used for that. Um, as as they progress in their Spanish, um, these these letters will be changed to words, and they'll be matching up the words with um, the English to the Spanish or the Spanish to the English. So this is a starting point, and you can adapt it to your own family's needs. So the first thing that I did, um, you don't need a checkerboard this large. You can use whatever you have on hand. This is just one we had on hand from Cracker Barrel. It's an extra large board. So, um, and I used washi tape. Um, just because I had washi tape on hand, you can use painter's tape or whatever. It comes off, doesn't damage, you know, the board at all. Um, and it stays put pretty well. So, um, Basically, I put the Spanish alphabet on the board. There are 29 letters in the Spanish alphabet, um, where there's only 26 in the English alphabet. Um, and this is not counting double R. Double R is not counted as a letter per se in the Spanish alphabet, but it is a sound, and so I've added it in. So, um, so basically, I have all the letters of the Spanish alphabet on on um, the checkerboard. And then at the very bottom I have player one and player two because I have two kids and they're going to be competing against each other. So then I took all the checker pieces and I put the sound on there. So of course trilled R is Ere and that's going to go on double R. Then I have um, Hota and that is actually the letter J. So that goes on J. And then we've got R, and R goes on R. And we have E, E, and that goes on E. And then we have B, and B goes on B. M A and M A goes on M. O and O goes on O. Long O for O. And Y and this one goes on the end. So this is an N with a tilde on it. Then we have U and U I know is U. So that'll go down here. Now I had to cut out out of cardstock some additional pieces because there just wasn't enough of the checkers. So, so I did that. Um, y, and that's Y. Double V is W. Zeta is Z. Equis is Q. V is V. And then Te 
is is T. Where's Ty? There. T goes there. Then we have say, and that is C. And F, which is F. Ch, which is C H. Gay, which is G. Ka, which is K. Ku, which is. Oh, I'm sorry, Equis is X. I got mixed up. Okay, Equis is S, Ku is Q. Sorry about that. N A is N. E is I. L A is double L. It's up there. K is P, of course. L-A is L. So there's an L and a double L. This is L-A and l -A, just so you know. And then we have um, Hotch, and that is H. And we have A, which is A. And then we have D, which is D. So that's the entire alphabet of the Spanish alphabet. And then what they're going to do is they're just going to take turns and just set it on the letter until they get the hang of um, the Spanish alphabet. Now, um, I did find a song on YouTube, and it is J. Kirkland, um, or J. E. Kirkland, 1990, the alphabet song. This... Um, is the best one that I could find for older kids to learn. Um, there are several on YouTube, but this one goes fast, and for older kids, um, it it it's more interactive than the other ones. Let's say um, he has the child; he'll he'll sing the song, and then he'll have the ch the children um, repeat it. So I thought that this was a good one. So you can look that up on YouTube if you want a song to go along with this game but um I only took two years of Spanish in high school and so of course I'm a little rusty um but I wanted my children to learn a foreign language and so this is where we're starting um later as we go on um I'll be teaching them other things and we'll be using that board for that and I can show you in another video how we're going to progress with this game so I thank you all for watching, and I hope that you have a great day and um, get working on some of those games for your kids um, if your kids are visual learners like mine are. So I'll see you next time. Bye.